Charity. And today we are going to be reviewing the HP Chromebox. It's a computer inside a box. This is what it looks like. Let's, Let's get, get this review started. Now to Mike, our dad. What's up YouTube? Mike here. I am here with Charity. Say hello. Hello. And Mia. Say hello. Hello. And today we are reviewing the HP Chrome Box. So this is the actual box. The box is actually massive compared to the device. But what is in the box, I will show you. We've got the actual HP Chrome Box itself, which is pretty small. It comes with a power adapter, and that is it. Um, you get no HDMI cord with this, but um, they're pretty cheap nowadays, so you can pick it up. This retails for around $169. And again, it's kind of modeled after the, um, I guess, the Mac Mini, if you will. But do not confuse this with the Mac Mini. The, it is nowhere close in specs. Uh, as far as this one, this is a 16 gigabyte solid state hard drive. It's got two gigs of RAM. It's got an Intel processor. And it's got, I'm cheating here, it's got a Intel HD Graphics 4400. But um, really, two gigs of RAM, it doesn't sound like a lot, uh, but all is... All it essentially is is a web browser. This runs Chrome OS. Um, there is a way where you could actually uh, install Linux on this, but um, it comes with Chrome OS. You're not going to be running native programs here. It's just a Chrome web browser running Chrome apps. It also has um, Bluetooth on this. You can connect Bluetooth to it. I'll show you around the bend real quick. On this side, you've got two USB 3.0 ports. On this side, you've got a 3-in-1 SD card reader and around the back you've got your headphone jack, you've got a display port, a HDMI port and two more USB 3.0s and a Ethernet port. So this does have a total of four USB 3.0 ports so you can plug uh, whatever peripherals you want, mouse, keyboard and some hard drives. But really that will be about the extent of what this will run. So uh, we've had this for about a month now and um, what do you think of it, Charity? Do you like it? Um, yes, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet, according to Charity. What do you think? Um, I think. Do you like it? Yes. And what it does is you just basically you plug your TV into it. Yeah. It. Your TV acts like a computer. Essentially. So yes, we here, I'm going to show you our setup here in a minute. We're going to hook it up, kind of show you the performance, but we just have it hooked to a one of our older TVs and it works fine. So uh, I mean, who's that for? Who is this for? Ask yourself. I bought it for the children just because uh, it's very simple to set up. Uh, you don't have to worry about malware or spyware or viruses with this because it is just a Chrome OS browser. It's just a browser essentially. Uh, super easy to update, super simple to set up. So the kids, they can do all their stuff. They play games on an Animal Jam, YouTube, surf the web. Uh, that's essentially it. So with that, uh, we're going to hook this up and just kind of show you what it looks like and the performance. All right, Mike here again. As you can see, this is the setup we have. We've got a very uh, inexpensive wireless keyboard and mouse. Um, got a combo. I think it was like $20. Um, but it's wireless, it works. We've got it hooked to our old TV via HDMI port. And this is what Chrome looks like. It's pretty simple if you're not familiar. Um, it's essentially a web browser. You do have a desktop as you can see. Um, you can download files to this, i.e. pictures, videos. But um, again, essentially it is a web browser running Chrome apps. But with this, again, you get Google Docs, which is pretty much the only thing you can run offline on this but how many times with a desktop are you not going to have internet connection it's pretty much going to be always connected to the internet so that's not really a limitation as much as a chrome book where you've got a laptop where you may not always have internet connection but with this it's a desktop so you're always going to have internet and again you've got your google slides google docs so those you can use offline and there's a gmail app that you can use offline but as you can see, this is just a web browser, so um, no, nothing uh, new here. There's Google Slides, and uh, you know you can open multiple tabs on this, and um, you're really not going to see anything slow down. So, again, it's only two gigs of RAM, but 
Um, it's just a web browser. So you're not going to see this bog down unless you've got about 10 tabs open, but I don't know why you would have that many open because um, you can't look at that many. But as you can see, it's just Chrome, but you know, it's got Flash, You'll, YouTube works fine. You know, any, I've never had a website that you can't render and the actual Chrome OS app store is actually growing quite a bit. Um, so there are quite a few apps for this now, but again, 90% of those apps are, are merely just bookmarks to a website, which that is the limitation of the Chrome OS or the Chrome browser. But again, with a desktop, you're always going to have internet, so it's not so much an issue. So um, I've actually owned a Chrome book for a while now. I like it. Um, it works well. It's good at what it does. You know, this, these are just some of the apps that you have right now that we're showing you. But I mean, this is what it looks like. Uh, super simple. It literally takes one to two seconds to power on. And the cool thing about this is you can have multiple user profiles. So uh, right now my daughter's on it. She's got her profile. She can sign out and um, you can have, I don't know, I mean, an unlimited amount of profiles. So pretty much everybody in my house has a profile for this. And um, so that's cool there. You can switch between users. You don't have to worry about somebody else messing up your desktop. And again, you can hook external hard drives to this. It will play movies. Um, there are Chrome apps you can download that will download different movie formats but it works I mean you can view pictures on this watch movies you can watch Netflix on this YouTube so I mean you're you're mad you're limited by your imagination the handicap is obviously this is a browser so you're not going to be running hardcore programs you can't install programs it doesn't have a disk drive you can plug an optical drive to this but it will not re read it it won't register it so that is your limitation but if all you really use a computer for is surfing the web, watching YouTube, watching Netflix, or movies, and if you can live inside the cloud with your Google Docs, i.e. using Google's version of PowerPoint, Excel, or Word, which works absolutely fine, um, then this is a great buy. It's inexpensive. Like I said, I recommend it for kids. I got it for my kids. It may be good for elderly people, people who are just technologically challenged, because this is zero maintenance. That is the awesome thing about this machine is downloads, they come automatically. You'll see it in the right corner when they're there and they literally take 30 seconds to install. So again, no malware, no spyware, no viruses with this. So excellent for kids. Like I said, they get on and they play their games with this. They like playing Animal Jam and other gaming websites and it works absolutely fine. So really I, I do recommend this, especially for, for kids. Um, my kids actually, in their school now, they use this. They use Chrome OS now because obviously Microsoft Office is very expensive and this is free. So a lot of schools are actually going to this. So my kids are already familiar with it. They're able to use it. They're able to use Google Slides all the time. My eight-year-old, she always makes basically PowerPoints on this thing. So um, it's pretty cool, good for kids, and it's inexpensive. So if it does get something spilled on it or broke, Instead of being out, you know, the cost of a Mac Mini, you know, 600 bucks or a full computer, even more, you're out, you know, a hundred and a half. So, um, pretty good product. Highly recommended. Um, great for elderly kids or just someone that really doesn't need hardcore computing. So, if you're not, you know, doing hardcore video editing, you know, needing to run native programs, then this is an absolute great buy. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions on this or you want to know more, just uh, put it down in the comments and please subscribe. Thanks.